Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday, it is Friday, it's the weekend, it is weigh-in day, we're gonna talk all about my week, my weigh-in, and the WW workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a weigh-in every Friday and I upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I highly, highly, highly recommend personalized macros and calories. A lot of you have been reaching out saying you have lost more weight than ever knowing your macros and calories, so I highly recommend that as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's jump into my week, my weigh-in, and the WW workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an absolutely amazing, amazing week. I can't believe that the month of June is almost over. I was looking at my calendar, kind of planning my coaching calls, working on my meal plan, and this month to me has just flown by. Let me know in the comments if you feel like June and this whole year in general is literally flying by. I have had such a busy week between coaching calls, calculating macros and calories, filming videos, editing videos, taking care of my family. I just got my hair done. I got my hair cut and colored. I cut quite a bit off my hair. It definitely needed a large trim. It was getting pretty scraggly and dry at the ends and I feel like it's just a lot more fresh looking and then we did add just a little bit more blonde into it to give that little bit more blonde look for the summer months. I'm rounding out week four with my fitness coach. I can't believe that I have been working with her now for four weeks already. It's That also has completely flown by. Like I mentioned in last week's video, I have a little bit different workout routine with her now. I'm still walking four to five days a week. I have structured cardio, which means mainly the elliptical in the gym two days a week. And I am in week four of strength training. And let me tell you, I have been so sore. As I progress in strength training through the routine that she gave me, it's getting harder and harder, which makes perfect sense. The weights are getting heavier and heavier. The reps are getting to be more and more, and it's just taking a little bit of a toll on my body. I will say that I'm noticing some results, which is making me really, really happy. My body has been, I guess, toning up or slimming down even more since I started implementing a little bit more stricter strength training routine but I've been sore. My shoulders, my back, my arms, my neck has been really sore because I've been focusing a lot on upper body. Once I get home from my strength training, I have a BCAA post-workout type of drink that actually does help with recovery. It's from the brand 6AM Run. I have the watermelon one. I'll go and I'll link it down below for you guys. I shared it with you in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day as well, but whenever I do weight training, I drink that when I get home, and that seems to help a little bit with the soreness, Obviously, it doesn't get rid of the soreness, but it just helps your body recover a little bit quicker from your workout. So because I've been so sore, I decided to pick up a heat wrap that's really good for your back, your neck, and your shoulders. It's from the brand Home Press. I'll have this link down below for you as well, and it has been an absolute game changer for me for soreness and recovery. This heating pad is so absolutely incredible. It's the perfect size to go around your neck, your shoulders. The heating technology is pretty incredible. It heats up really fast, which I appreciate. It has a remote one button for five different heating levels so that you can adjust the heat strictly from the remote, which is also very convenient. There's weighted edges and this really helps keep it around your neck. So for me, I find that those weighted edges keeps the heating pad in place so it doesn't move if I'm walking around or moving from a sitting to a laying down position. And it includes three adjustable snaps. It fits all bodies. It feels so nice. It's a warm, comfortable feeling. And just that little bit of heat penetration in my muscles really helps me recover much quicker. What I generally do is when I get home from my strength training, I make my BCAA post-workout drink heat wrap while I'm enjoying that drink. And it just allows me to relax a little bit after my workout and really gets my muscles off to a faster recovery. It's great for relieving muscle aches. It's helpful for neck pain and shoulder pain, whether it comes from working out or if you just suffer from neck pain 
pain or shoulder pain. It's helpful for any type of shoulder injury recovery, and it's really a great gift for pretty much anybody. It uses the latest carbon nanotube heating technology, which makes it heat up really quickly. This is an absolute must have in any type of neck or shoulder wrap. The three adjustable straps are really helpful. That's another must have, as well as the weighted edges for that nice snug fit around your neck. It's available on Amazon, which makes it super convenient and it is very, very affordable. I've seen some of these heat wraps for back, neck, and shoulders for upwards of like $70 or $80. This one is super, super affordable and really, really nice quality. Even Troy's been using this and we love just that warming sensation. It's so comfortable and it really truly helps with post-workout recovery, neck pain, shoulder pain, back pain. I'm considering purchasing one for my mom because she suffers from a lot of neck pain from a car accident when I was younger. And because it's so affordable and such high quality and such a great product, it makes just a really, really good gift. So I'm thinking I may order one and send it over to her so that she can start using it for her neck pain. It's also easy to take with you for travel, which is really convenient as well. So if you do suffer from chronic pain, you could easily throw this in a carry-on or in a suitcase and have it available for travel. I've really been loving it and it has been a big, big game changer in soreness recovery for me. And I've definitely needed it because I have been so incredibly sore. I've done really well this week with my nutrition. We actually had my in-laws over for a barbecue for Father's Day and I enjoyed everything I shared on my Instagram that I had a cupcake. I picked up some cupcakes from a local bakery and I didn't feel bad about it. Not once did I feel guilty. I just worked it into my day. It was absolutely delicious and I enjoyed all of the good stuff that we barbecued on our Blackstone Grill for Father's Day. Other than that one kind of indulgent, relaxed meal, I had a really good week. I got in my water, got in my exercise, Side. I'm feeling really, really good this week. I've also been feeling really lean this week. Let me know if you find moments or weeks or days where you just feel a little bit like a skinny legend and then other days where you don't feel like a skinny legend. This week I've actually felt a little bit more leaned and toned up and that could be because of my strength routine as well as my recovery with my BCAAs and my heating pad after my workout. Maybe all of that is just helping level out that inflammation and bloating that comes with a heavy workout, but I've been feeling really, really good this week. But before we jump into this week's weigh-in, I wanna share with you this week's WW workshop topic because it's about stress. And we all know that when we're stressed out, our cortisol levels increase and it's really hard for us to lose weight. So we're gonna talk about how to stop stressing when you're already stressing. Some signs of feeling stressed out are things like your palms being sweaty, your heart racing, that kind of overwhelming feeling of just ugh and meh. When you notice yourself feeling stressed out or slipping into this stressful situation, focus on the 54321 technique. This technique is actually really, really cool. It's a five step technique starting with number five, which is to take a few deep breaths, look around and name five things that you can see. Just look around wherever you are and name five things. That's going to take your mind immediately off of the stress that you're feeling. Then number four is to keep breathing deeply. Pinpoint four things that you can physically feel. So maybe your heart's racing, your palms are sweaty, your feet feeling a little bit fatigued, you're feeling anxious, really focus on and pinpoint four feelings that you're having. Number three is to close your eyes and just listen. What sounds do you hear? And list out three different sounds that you hear. Maybe you're feeling a little stressed at work and you can hear things like chatter in the other room or the copy machine or the phone ringing. Number two is to then take another deep breath and notice two things that you smell. What is the smells in your surroundings? And number one is to focus on one thing you can taste. Nothing, grab a drink or use some lip balm. Find a way to have that few to have that sensation of taste. Take one last deep breath and continue on with your day. This 54321 process not only helps you relax, but if you notice we're doing things that are taking our mind off of what's causing us stress or the feelings of stress that we're having. Stress is a normal part of life. There are stressful situations in our life we can control, but more often than not, the stressful situations in our life are completely out of our control. Stress can have a real impact on your overall health and it can definitely have an impact on your weight loss goals. Stress triggers increased appetite and we're not craving things like broccoli and Brussels sprouts, we're craving things like sugar and chips and crunchy snacks. This can lead us to overeating, choosing foods that are high in fats and sugar, and stress also causes, like I said, our cortisol levels to increase, which is the stress hormone, which can really put a big damper on our weight loss. So what's some good news about stress? 
If we have stress in our life that we can't control, give me some good news. By implementing this 5-4-3-2-1 technique, you can take your mind off of the stress and focus on other things. It can also help you change how you respond to stress. And shifting how we respond can be a complete game changer on how we deal with stress overall. It can help you take back a little bit of control and can really support you on your journey. So the next time that you're feeling overwhelmed, anxious, stressed out, focus on this 5-4-3-2-1 technique and it works. It takes your mind off of the stressful situation and kind of just zends you out and recenters you so that you can carry on with your day and have a lot less health damaging stress in your life. I really like this technique. Like I said, every single one of us has a stressful life in some capacity, whether it's daily, weekly, monthly, minute by minute, we all have some uncontrolled stress in our life. And this technique is really going to help counterbalance that. So now it's time to talk about this week's weigh-in. Like I said, I feel like I had a really good week. Thanks to my home press heat wrap. It has really, really helped with the soreness. I feel like my food has been on point. My water's been on point. I'm obviously exercising and moving my body. And this week, the scale, the scale was a good friend of mine. The scale was my BFF. When I stepped on the scale this week, I am down 2.2 pounds, 2.2. I about lost my mind when I saw that number on the scale. I told you that I was feeling like a skinny legend this week. I was feeling lean and healthy, but I couldn't believe that I had lost 2.2 pounds this week. And this wraps up my final weigh-in for the month of June. So I'll go ahead and put my overall weight loss for June and my total loss here on the screen. I hit a pretty fun milestone this week. I'm officially 115 pounds down. It feels like just yesterday that I lost hundred pounds and now I'm an additional 15 pounds down, which is amazing. Incredible. Makes me so happy. And of course, just inches me closer and closer to my overall goal. So I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling excited and motivated moving into this next week. I am going to crush it this next week with my fitness, my food, my water. I'm going to focus on recovery after the gym. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? And let me know your thoughts on this whole 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 technique. And if you're going to implement it when you encounter some stressful situations, don't forget I'll link the home press heat wrap down below for you. I highly recommend it if you suffer from any neck, back and shoulder pain, as well as nutrition coaching. Again, macros and calories, personal to you is so important. And I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability and support as well. Links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, don't forget, come on over, join us on Facebook. We would love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you have an amazing, amazing weekend and I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.